Hi, welcome back to the Backpacker Coach. And today we have another special episode of Chris Creamer's and Lisanne Froon, The Missing Girls from Panama. Today I wanted to go over whether the images are photoshopped or not, but by going a completely different way, a little more scientific, but not um, being able to um, look at the, the XF data because I have no way of being able to get to that information because everybody has all those pictures locked up. I would love to do a video on that. So if you know somebody who actually can provide the photos with the XF data, that'd be great. I would be more than happy to do a YouTube video on those. But being I do not have that information, we're going to go um, do this a slightly different route. There is another program that looks at each individual photo and kind of sees what is going on with the pixels. And what we're going to do is we're going to kind of go through um, several pictures that I took, some that are manipulated, and then we're going to get into the photos of Chris Kramer's and Lasan Prune. So we're going to go through that and we're going to find out, see what it looks like. There's no program out there that you've put it into the program and it just tells you, hey, this is fake. There's not a program out there in the world that'll do that. Um, you actually have to be able to use some brain power and actually come to your own conclusions by using uh, different programs out there or by, by knowing whether or not it's Photoshop or not by you know having uh, Photoshop skills and be using it for a long time, you start to recognize uh, what is Photoshopped and what is not. I've been doing Photoshop for uh, a very long time. Um, I've been using Photoshop pr pretty much from its inception, um, but I've been using Photoshop really heavily for probably about the last 15 years. So I have plenty of experience with Photoshop um, and with photography, um, being that um, I've been doing also photography for a very long time, as well as I've been doing uh, digital photography for roughly about 15 years. So let's get into that. Let's see what we can uh, figure out from this program and see what we can learn. All right, what we're going to use here is a program called Forensically. And this program is used to kind of look at the pixels and kind of can tell what's going on with the, the, with the pixels, depending on all these different uh, little uh, tabs that you have over here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use just this first and show you kind of how this kind of works. And then we're going to go from there. So we're going to use error level. Um, so what you do is you move this JPEG quality. And so you look, start with it, it'll be almost all black. And you move this over slightly. And as you start to move it over slightly, you start to see how this and this start to show up and that means that that something was not something was generated and put into this picture because it's starting to turn purple and I'll move this back you can see how see the spaceship and the little hang glider guy is not real so that's how this program works is that it's able to tell kind of what is going on um, and you keep going and as you keep going it kind of helps you kind of see what's going on with the pixels and you can kind of tell what's been uh, color corrected and not or we'll go over that and a couple of the other these other these other pictures First thing we're going to do here is I wanted to tell you about what I did with the pictures from uh, Lucanne and Chris. All the pictures are at 72 DPI, which is dots per square inch, and or the, you know the pixels are. And so the problem with that is that it will hide a lot of in, inconsistencies at 72 DPI. And so I just kind of wanted to show you the difference between what 
300 dpi this is one of the pictures that i took what i did was is i took um, another background and put it into this picture so what we're going to do here is we're going to i'm going to show you what it's going to look like as we move as we move it here and you can start to see there's a line around the trees and this weird blobby thing that's in here and this it has something to do with the mask um, the how and even some stuff going on even here and you can definitely see there's masks and stuff going on with the program of um, how this program worked but this is and that's because you can really see it because it's at 300 dpi um, we'll just go a little a little further here and you can really see it really starts to stand out so now I'm gonna to go to the the same picture but 72 dpi and we're gonna go do the 72 dpi one now we're gonna do that again but we're gonna see what looks different now now we'll see the the edges that were there before you can't even see it looks the same as the mountains it looks the you can't see anything like yeah there's maybe a little border there but you can you can't see you can't even tell that there's anything there so just by knowing that you know that them making the pictures from 72 dpi in itself is kind of bad because they're trying to hide something um they shouldn't have changed them at all to 72 dpi they should have left them at whatever they come out as with the camera which usually is like like 180 um some of them come out 300 but i mean they don't ever come out 72 dpi on a on a camera that's just not the way cameras work so um just to know that what we're looking at they're already starting to be hidden with them changing stuff to 72 dpi so what we're going to do first is we're going to go i'm going to show you um, three different sets of pictures and the first set is going to be only pictures that have come out of a camera raw i have not done any color correction no photoshopping no nothing it's the only thing that I've done is I've changed it to 72 dpi just so you can see um, what that does to the pixels. That's the only thing I have done. So we're going to go to no photoshopping. Okay, so we're going to go look at this one first. Okay, so we're going to look this picture. That's me on top of a 14er a long time ago. So now let's look and see what happens as we move along, as we lighten it up a little bit here. So now I want you to pay attention to how this all first looks. You can see all the pixels are, they look pixely, right? And you can kind of see the outline of me and all that kind of stuff, but everything has pixels to it. It all looks kind of uniform it's all generally looks like it still has pixels everything stop 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 let's fast forward through the rest of this video and i will explain to you what's going on here
Okay, so I went and I did this whole video and then I realized something at the very end. I was trying to figure out how in the sky the pixels were so bad and I finally figured out what was going on. But to kind of go um, back to the beginning, I want to really explain to you whoever leaked these pictures, what they really did to all these pictures in the respect of making them so useless um, for us to be able to um, check to see whether they are actually uh, real or not, whether they've been photoshopped or not. So actually, that's what we're going to go over is what they actually did to these pictures. And so you actually understand everything that they did to destroy these pictures, to make them as unusable as possible. So here we go. We're going to get into that instead. And let's get into this. All right. So what I have here is a picture that is actually from the Canon SZ um, 270HS. And it was actually taken from that camera. And that camera um, is able to make um, 4,000 by 3,000 size pictures. And that's in pixels. And it also makes the DPI is actually 180 is, is what that comes out to. So this is a full size image. You can actually zoom up into this and see how far we can zoom up before it starts to turn into pixels. It gets very, we can get very close. It's a very nice large image. So what I wanted to show you was how many um, other images were resized and also what they did to those images. So you can see these are actually scaled down to the actual size they scaled them down to. So from 4,000 to 3,000 pixels, there was one that was 297 by 233. That's the smallest one. There was one of those. There was one at 867 by 650. There were eight 1,005 by 754. And then there were one that was 1,024 by 768. There were two that were 1,280 by 960. And then there were 1,340 by 768. And then there were um, 1508 by um, 1131. There was one of those. And one more that was 16, um, um, 1600 by 1200. And there possibly there might have been one larger than that. But all the ones that I had, that's what I had. But anyway, these are the, that's what they actually reduced all of the pictures um too which you can tell are they're very very small there's nothing nothing big about those now if you actually would zoom in to let's say these see how far you can get into this before it starts to change into pixels not very far so the next thing that they did and that, that means all of them, all these, they changed everything to 72 DPI. And like I said before, um, when it comes out of the camera, it's 180 DPI. But they changed all these to 72 DPI. Then next, what they did, this is what I was talking about, how the background or the sky was terrible in all the pictures. This is what a normal JPEG um, looks like, not compressed. This is what a JPEG looks like when you compress it. And you can see all the bad stuff in the back. You can see how they're it's crazy. And here's one of the pictures from Lisan's camera. You can see the same thing with all the compression. And what you normally do with saving JPEGs to save something as a JPEG, and if you wanted to have a good quality, you have it on 12 and on baseline standard and hit okay. And 
it doesn't mess up the JPEG. It looks really nice. But what they did is they went to quality and probably put it on a lower quality. And then also they went to progressive and they changed it to five or four or whatever on scans. So what that does is it compresses it even more and makes it even more, uh, more destroyed and more compressed. And that is what happened with um, all of the images that we were looking at is that they are all severely compressed and also very low quality. They're all 72 DPI. So they're not, so you're not able to see anything from those images that we have because they are so low quality. But I just wanted to show you the actual size of how they actually reduce the images and how small they really are um, compared to a, the original size we have here. That's um, quite a difference, as well as changing to 72 dpi and then compressing it. So really the question is not, are they photoshopped? But the real question is, what are they trying to hide? So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you next time out there.